Hey everyone, great to have you with us for Thursday evening live prayer. Um, we just had some technical issues to work out in the background there so that we could uh, get everyone uh, joining in who was trying to access the Jitsi room. So if you've been waiting patiently on YouTube, thank you very much. And it's great to have you with us now. And uh, it's great to get some prayer, prayer requests coming up there. And it's great to see a very full Jitsi room as well. Uh, so it's great to have so many folk there. And um, it's uh, good. To, to be able to join in worship tonight. So, um, in a little moment, uh, we're going to welcome Irene to share um, a devotion uh, with us to kick, kickstart our time. She's also sent me through some uh, ideas for prayer, uh, which we'll have uh, in a moment as well. So, uh, if you're in the Jitsi room, this would be the time to uh, just gather your thoughts and uh, I'm going to welcome Irene to share with us uh, from God's Word tonight. Irene. Uh, today, I think in particular, people have become even more excited about looking forward to meeting up with family and friends after the announcement at lunchtime today. And I think especially people with grandchildren who haven't been able to see them will be desperate to see them. Uh, and this afternoon I had to drop something off at uh, my son and his fiancée. And it was so difficult just to drop something and not be able to give them a hug and just get back in the car again. And I, I thought, you know, what, what is it that makes that relationship or those relationships so special and it's actually it's a word that has been used quite frequently by politicians over the, the last few weeks and I've noticed that it's been used more and more in so many different uh, areas and it's the word love and it's hardly surprising that that word has come to the fore. And I think people are now thinking even more about the love that we have for each other. But more than that, the love that God has for us as well. And my thoughts already this week had turned to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which is, of course, as we, we know, is has the, the, the sort of alternative title of the love chapter. And sometimes when it's words that we know really well, we can lose a bit of what they mean. And so I sometimes try to go to different translations or different versions just to get a different idea and a different perspective on it. And one of the, I know that this is not everyone's idea. Uh, not everyone approves or likes it, but I quite like dipping into the message and um, so I did that uh, for this passage. And I'm going to read some of the words to you, uh, the first uh, sort of eight verses. If I speak with human eloquence and angelic ecstasy, but don't love, I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain, jump, and it jumps, but I don't love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've got nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares for more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, 
<laughs> never look back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. Amazing words, difficult words, uh, and uh, some of them are more difficult for us to keep than others. But knowing that God has that kind of love for us is quite amazing and overwhelming. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for that wonderful love that you have for us. <laughs> and that we in turn can share with others. Thank you for the times when we have felt that love really close to us, helping us along on days perhaps that have been more difficult than others. Be with us tonight as we join together to pray. Amen. 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 Well, we've got some prayer points up here from Irene uh, that she sent through earlier today, reminding us to be praying for our leaders and their advisors um, amidst lockdown and as, amidst things beginning to change and um, new measures coming in. Praying for scientists and, and those uh, working on a vaccine for their success and favour and blessing. Praying for those who feel lonely and isolated and I see Wendy is reminding us in the live chat to be praying for those struggling with mental ill health just now as well. Remembering our children and young people who be missing friends and juggling expectations with work, uh, studies of various forms and the parents juggling things alongside them. Remembering the families and especially Irene called to mind that we remember those that may be more vulnerable of domestic abuse at this time. We've got a few names of folks to be praying for as well just now from the live chat and we'll bring them into our prayers uh, as we journey into this time of prayer. So if you're in the Jitsi room, please feel free to, to contribute a prayer. You may wish to mute your video if, if you so wish. You don't have to have it on. And... Um, if you're not praying, it's probably best to mute your microphone if you're in the Jitsi room just so that we don't get any feedback loops and, and things like that, And uh, especially if you've got YouTube on in the background. But even then, if you've not got YouTube on, it's still well worth muting your microphone um, just so that we don't get any feedback loops. So let's uh, come to God in prayer. We'll, we'll pray on till nine o'clock tonight, uh, but feel free to leave at any point, either on YouTube or in the Jitsi room, just so that we've got that little bit longer to pray. So let us come before our God who is so loving as we've been reminded tonight by Irene. Let us pray. Father God, I bring before you tonight our leaders and their advisors and I'm sure Lord not one of us would have their job because to try and make decisions must be really really difficult Lord and I just I just pray that you will be with these leaders leaders of our country um, and the people who advise them and advise them wisely I just pray that they will they will take the decisions that they feel are best at this moment in time. And I just pray that we will not be at this moment questioning and wondering if things could have been done better because there will be a time for that, Lord. But I just pray that we will continue to improve the way that we are handling this situation and that many, many fewer lives will be lost. I just thank you for, for the, the, the people that you have been with, the doctors and the nurses and all the carers, everyone who has been involved in caring for those who have been brought down by COVID-19. And Lord, I just pray that you will, will give the leaders wisdom, give them clarity, because we know that as things start to loosen a bit um, and if there's any uncertainty, that's when things could go wrong. So please, Lord, just make us understand. Make it clear to us what we have to do for ourselves, for others, and just that this situation will be brought under control as quickly as it can. I just pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Heavenly Father, we come before you with thanks. We thank you for all that you have done for us. We know that you are a faithful God, a wonderful God, a God who loves us, as Irene has said. And Lord, yet there are many things that happen that we don't understand. We can't understand, Lord, the wonders of your world, the wonders of your universe. But we pray, Lord, that you will bless us and help us to understand your word. We know that your word is truth and that your word is the spirit. How we understand that is difficult, Lord, but we know through reading through your book and through your scriptures that you lead us to truth and understanding. Help us to be closer to you, to be nearer you, to love you, to do the things that you want us to do and not the things that we want to do. Help us to be blessed, Lord, by your will, to do your will, to help others and to serve others before ourselves. Help us not to be wanting the things of this world, but help us to want what you want for us. We, you want us to follow you and to be following your word, seeking what you want for this world. This is a great world, a tremendous place, Lord, and we have seen so many loving things done, so many things done for other people, and we are just part of that. We thank you for this church in Brighton's and for the churches all around the breeze. And we ask that you will bless them, Lord, in this uh, difficult time. We do give thanks for the scientists working really hard, diligently, and really putting a lot of hours in, trying to find a cure for this. We thank you that they are willing to put themselves forward, willing to just to put their shoulder to the wheel. And we have seen it all over by our care workers, by our NHS staff, and everyone, Lord, who is willing to serve. It's wonderful to see the human nature coming out and people wanting to help others. This is indeed a blessing, Lord, and we pray that it will continue when this pandemic is over. We pray that we have learned something from it and that you will lead us and guide us to not only our politi political leaders, but our spiritual leaders. Help us, Lord, and help the ministers and those who are run, trying to run congregations at this time, a really difficult time. And we ask you to be with Scott and Jill at this time as well, Lord. It's uh, a strange time, but we ask that you will bless everyone. Bless everyone and give them their, your word and may they be inspired and encouraged to do what you want us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Psalm 91 says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Father, we trust in you. We trust that whatever is happening in the world is not, not too difficult for you to engage with, is not out with your power, because you are almighty. Though we don't see the plan and though we don't understand it, Father, we entrust it to you. Father, I pray for those who are vulnerable in our society at the moment. I pray for the children who are in homes that are not as safe as they could be. I pray for vulnerable adults who are, who are scared and worried and and who don't have the support that we would want for them, Father. I pray that you would be their refuge, that you would be their fortress, 
And also I pray that your people would be able to support them further. Would you galvanize your church? Help us to understand the ways that we can and should engage with these with these issues, with people who really need to know your love and your grace and your mercy and your strength, Father. Would you give us the courage to do that? Well, would we keep praying, yes, but would your Holy Spirit work in us and through us that we might we might just be you to people who really need you? And Father, I thank you that there is good work going on in the community just now, that the food bank is doing so much to try and help people practically and that they are sharing your love with folks who, who really need food and everyday items. And we pray that you would strengthen the folks that are going along and protect them, that they would, that they would know that you honour the work that they're doing in that. Mm. And Father, I pray for Sunday worship. I thank you that there are people who are going online and who are watching church services who, who wouldn't go into a church building. I, I thank you that you're reaching people that way, that you're speaking into people's hearts who who are far from you and who would be scared or, or who would shun what Christianity is, who Jesus is. They're hearing things that they wouldn't maybe have heard if, if we weren't in this situation. And Father, I pray that that would go further. I pray that you would call to people who who are sitting on a Sunday morning and don't know what to do. I pray that you'd call to their hearts, that they'd think, well, what have I got to lose? I pray that they would hear the truth of Jesus, that that would be really um, clearly spoken to them. And Father, I just I pray that they'd be surrounded by, by the truth of your love and by the truth of what your son's done for them and for us. Amen. 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 Gracious Father, we are thankful that we can express ourselves in the love of your presence in our life. We, should, we reach out, we make it a goal and to make sure that we can love people as you loved us. But sometimes it's very hard. But we know that when we are loving people or loving things, like we love our families and friends, then we know that we are reaching out for what you want us to do. Father, we, we approach love as being you are love yourself. God is love. And it's the sacrifice that you've made for us. And we'll never, ever get to that standard. But, Father, we will want to keep aiming for it and searching for it and reaching for it and connecting it to others with our, our idea in our lives. And so, Father, we thank you for that First Corinthians chapter. It's a really great blessing to ourselves to know that love is the center part of our love. We've seen a, um, this, this, that, these things in the past weeks now where people have lost loved ones. It's a quite a really burden to all people, to all friends, to all relatives, to the family themselves. And so we pray that love will conquer. Love will be the aim. And we will praise your blessed and in a blessing way that we can say, God is love, and let's enjoy that. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we pray tonight for Danielle, especially today when she started her second course of treatment. Um, and Lord, we pray that as this, as this medication courses through her body, it will do the work that it is hoped it will do, that it will restore Danielle to health, that you will be by her side, please, Lord, that you will give her wholeness of body, mind and spirit, you will give her strength to combat whatever the medication brings on. We pray that she won't have adverse side effects from it, Lord, but it can happen. And we just ask that you will be there to be her strength in this time. You are an almighty God. Your love abounds beyond our greatest imagination. And we just ask, Lord, 
that you would draw close to Danielle, that she would know your presence with her in these days of trial and hardship. Be with her family and all who know and love her, Lord. Strengthen them as they too go through this battle with her. Amen. 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 Lord, our, our minds are a battlefield just now because we, we see and we know that you are sovereign. And we see and we know that you are doing mighty things at the moment with news of massive uptake in Alpha courses and of online church. And yet at the same time, we know of wider organizations like Scripture Union, Abernethy Trust and places like that where their income is dried up, where summer camps are postponed, where ways of doing things have become impossible. Mm -hmm. And it just seems such a, a mixture. So help us to wrestle. And as Jill has prayed, help us to be confident Help us to know that you are God and that uh, you, your will will prevail, but not with, not with a sense of just being lax about it and expecting that it'll happen somehow. You've given us hands and feet. And I love the way Eugene Peterson just talks of, of us being bankrupted without love. And bankruptcy is going to be something that in very practical ways is going to hit so many people as we, as we move forward, even, even folk we know and folk who we're in amongst. And Lord, will you, will you stir up in us that desire to, to do those good works which you have ordained since the foundations of the earth for us to do? We just help us to not only to wrestle individually in our own places of prayer with you, but also as a con as a family and as a congregation. And Lord, when I hear the, the prayers of my friends, old and new, I, I thank you for the, the great sense of peace that comes on me when I hear your saints praying to you. And I thank you for everybody on this call tonight. And I, I just thank you for the sense of community that we have as church. But Lord, poke us and prod us and galvanize us so that we might not just sit back and wait on things to come right, but that we might be like, like hunters that are, are, are looking to, to show other, other beggars where the food is because we're just beggars, Lord, as well. So forgive us of our sins. And, and Lord, it's not really a biblical word, but I pray that you would give us focus as individuals, as people and families, and as people in our church, Lord. Hear the, hear the prayers of your saints, and, and, and when they come before your throne of grace, please make sense of them, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.
loving Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight and we we pray for, we pray for the leaders of the world. So many trying to find a way through places. But Lord, there are so many other vital and important in the world that need your attention, need the attention of leaders. Pray that good right now learn to Christ and live in a mentally friendly way that would ameliorate the, the damage done to our climate. Lord, we pray for the starving in war-torn areas. Always see upon them. Please protect them from the ravages of this disease. Lord, I am to you. And for a way out, Father. For the peoples of the world, especially for the refugees in, in camps across so, so many countries. We cry to you for mercy. Jesus' name, who loves us and who has given himself for and Lord, we know that you can. So we just trust ourselves to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh God and Heavenly Father, thank you that we can join in this time of prayer tonight, both uh, on, via YouTube and the Jitsi Room. I thank you for each of my brothers and sisters, and those in our community have shared in this time. And we draw our time to a close, Father, as we unite in that prayer which your Son taught us, saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Whether you um, were joining us in the Jitsi Room or joining us on YouTube, great to have you with us. Thanks for joining our time of live prayer tonight. Apologies for a few technical issues in the background, and uh, we'll get them tweaked, sorted out for, for future. I kind of know something uh, to, to do. Uh, so, uh, great to have you with us. We'll be back together uh, online on Sunday morning. So do join us then. Uh, folks in the Jitsi room, you don't have to, to run away straight away. Uh, you're welcome to use uh, hang around if you wish and talk to one another. And uh, But if you want to go, then you're free to go too. So thanks for being with us, everyone, tonight. Every blessing and speak to you soon. <laughs>